All right, guys, so now we're going to process our data in this video. So the JSON data, how we actually process it is we're going to create a JSON object and get everything from it. So we're going to say JSON object. JSON equal new JSON and we want to pass in the JSON data into its constructor. So ah yes. So what happened here is uh Essentially, all that's happened is we've got our data, so the JSON data is made, it being made into a JSON object, a giant one. So, as you can see, we just uh, uh, we need to add a catch statement because there's a JSON exception. So now we've got something else in our try, so we have to add our JSON exception to this. So, we're ready to go with that. Now, let's take another quick look at the JSON data. Itself. Okay, so the JSON data, a feed of videos looks like this. Okay, now JSON is like an associative array of arrays. It's a little bit confusing, but essentially is JSON objects are wrapped in brackets, in curly brackets, and JSON arrays are wrapped in square brackets. So our data, our JSON data is going to be all this here. Okay, all the way down to the bottom. We want to get the data from it, so we're going to get the JSON object data, and then that will give us this inner object. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the inner array, because it starts with a curly bracket here, of items. And this array will be of this size, so it's there's the end of the array, so we're going to have all this data here in each item. So let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to say J a new JSON object. Data equals JSON dot get JSON object and the name of it is data. So it's going to look for a JSON object with the key data. And that appears our key, and there's the object after the semicolon. So we've got that. So now what we want to do is we want to get all our items. So the items is an array. So we're going to get, so from the inner data object, we're going to get. The items array. So we're going to say JSON array videos. I'll just call it items for simplicity's sake. Equals data dot get JSON array items. Now instead of creating all these new JSON objects. We can very easily uh, string this together. So we could just say, you know, uh, uh, JSON items equals JSON dot get data dot get JSON array items. We could string them. We're not going to do that for simplicity's sake. So now we've got our items. We've got an array of JSON items. So let's get a loop. So we need to loop through these for for int i equals zero. I less than I T E S dot length items plus plus. Oh, damn, it's I plus plus. Whoops. So essentially, all that's happening here is we're just going to loop through this array of items. So for each video, we need to get our JSON object. JSON object video equals items at position i. Now, now you can't just say position i because it doesn't work. You have to get our JSON object from our index at i. So essentially, you can get the item at the the index at the array. So we've got that ready to go. But hey, so we've got our video object. So now we've got this part of it, one of these, these sections is what we've got now. Now there's only one video uh, being shown here, if there's max results equal to 2, there'll be two lists in this item array. So the title of the video is known as title. That's me double clicking it by accident. 
the title. So we simply say string title equals video dot get string. Uh, yeah. So we get the string from it. Title. And that's it. We got our title out of the video, and this will loop through each one. Now, how do we add that to our? Remember, our list view is a video array. So what we're going to do is, we're going to create an array list. And it's going to be of type string. And I'm just going to call this video uh, array list because we need to append items to the list, and you can't really. Uh, push items onto an array in Java to kind of, you kind of define the array and that's it. So we're just going to create an array uh, list, a video array list. Okay. So in here, video array list dot add, and that will be our title. So we'll actually get rid of this. We'll actually cut this down a little bit. So I'll just say get a little busy in here. So all we did there was we're just adding that to our video array and we're done. We are finished with the JSON data. We've done everything we need to do. We've got it into an array. So the very last thing we need to do is we need to convert that array list into an array. For So we need this video list to be converted into an array so that the list item adapter can do it. So we're essentially changing this and then we're going to tell the adapter that the array has changed, reload this list. So very quickly, we're just going to say down here, oops, video array equals arrays dot as list video array list. So this will convert Oh, shag. Hang on a sec. Give me, give me one second here. Just to look at something. Array adapter string. Can we use an, an array list? Well, hey, we don't need this at all. Pop. Yep. We don't need it. The uh, array adapter will take an array list as its parameter, so we don't need to create the converters at all. So now we've added all our lists, all our titles to an array list. So the last thing to do is to dismiss our dialog and then say adapter. Dot, oh, video adapter is called. Dot, notify dataset change. So simply what this will do is it'll just tell the adapter that the data set, in this case our array, has changed and, re and you should reload. So let's run this. And it stopped. The array list doesn't have any items in it, so we're just going to very simply uh, dot add uh, no videos. Sorry, the array list is null. We haven't actually added anything to it. Oh no! Wait, what am I doing? We never created this <laughs> new array list string. Sorry, we never actually uh, made our array list. I never initialized it, so it didn't know this object didn't know we were list yet. That was always wrong. Should work now. That is me being silly and stupid. Installing. <laughs> Sneeze. Hmm. 
loading videos, and voila, our list of videos. And we just download it and done it. So let's make this max result equals 30. Let's just make a big long pile of results and run it again. And we should be able to make it run now. And this will give us a much longer list. I think I do have 30 videos in my uh, thing. So it's loading and it's got all the data already. There we go. A list of my videos. Simple and easy. So anyway guys, that is downloading and working with JSON set tutorials. Uh, all this code, I've recorded these videos in one afternoon, so all this code will be made available on my GitHub. I should link to that in the description. And as always guys, it's been good talk. See you out there.